Welcome back for part four of the ultimate duck boat build. Today is the day when all of the modifications to the boat get started. Some of you guys suggested this, but I've also wanted to do this as well. Today we are going to be installing some of this stuff. Now, this is hydro turf. It is uh, basically kind of like a foam padding for the floor, which is going to be important for this boat. This is my Momarsh Fatboy DP. And uh, before we get any farther in this, make sure to leave down in the comments some suggestions of things that you want to see done to this boat. I want to turn this into the ultimate duck cutting rig, and I want to take your guys' input into this. If you guys bought this boat, what would you add to it? Drop a comment down below letting me know. And while you're there, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. First things first, got to take the drain plug out because we're going to wash out the bottom from the last video. I took it on the lake. So there is some dirt and mud inside there. I want to get a clean working surface to start with this. Let's see how this works. Last thing I want is for this thing to slide off. Wow, that makes it look really tall. Trying to get rid of any kind of debris, mud, dirt, fiberglass, residue. I want to get this sucker clean as a whistle. That ought to work. That looks pretty clean. Now we just got to let it dry. We're going to get this hydro turf out and lay it out on the ground because we're going to be cutting a template of this floor to kind of get a rough guesstimate of how I need to cut the hydro turfs. Of course, I had to go with the old duck camo. So you can see here, we got the sheet of hydro turf laid out and I'm trying to see exactly how close, I mean, we're gonna be very, very, very close with this. So I might actually end up scooting it forward just a bit more, but I've got cardboard there that we're gonna use inside here to kind of cut out a template to then cut this out. So that's gonna be the process. Gotta get a couple more drips way back in there, cleaned up. So I guess, first of all, let's get the cardboard cut to length, just so we know kind of how much we're working with here. It's not gonna be super exact to get start things off, but just wanna get a general reference point. So now I'm just going to roughly kind of start cutting some of this off in the shape that I'm needing. So now I'm going to use some scraps and kind of tape this on to make the template. It's a decent little starting point there. This is not working. Okay, my whole idea to make a template out of that cardboard is a no-go. So, gotta think of a different way. Maybe we can figure out if this will fit in there as is. It'd be perfect if I could just lay this whole sucker in there and not even have to cut it. All right, we might actually be able to make this work. It's pretty close to centered up. Okay, so my original plan to make the template is, <laughs> it's not gonna work. But fortunately, I was able to lay this sheet in here in the bottom of the boat. There is a couple of spots where it is gonna need to be trimmed. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that back in there. Same in the back and on the near side. This is my first time handling HydroTurf but I got the kind with the 3M backing. So it's got a sticky back. I just got to peel back the sticky side and start laying it down. So I think that's what we're gonna try and do at this point and then kind of trim things up once it's a little bit more finished out. I think this will be the way to do it. Don't wanna get any dirt on the floor. So we're going with the socks. So I'm trimming off some of these corners right now that are kind of giving me trouble because it is like a little cone down in there a little curvy so we gotta get that to fit it's peeled off and we'll start working our way back 
slow and steady now. Not perfect, but also not bad. The stuff is actually pretty comfortable to kneel on. I'm sure it would be a heck of a lot easier if I was going lengthwise instead of widthwise, but I just don't see it actually being possible to do that. Okay, that was a little bit more work than I anticipated it being. I figured it was gonna be quick and easy, roll it out, lay it in there. And the issues I was facing was basically just because of the shape of the boat here, because it's kind of egg shaped. It's got some roundedness to it. Trying to put a square peg in a round hole, that's kind of the situation that I encountered, but here it is. Like I said, it's got the 3M backing on there. And so it's stuck on pretty good. I've read, that once you let this sit for a little while, it will actually hold on a lot tighter. And so one of the issues I was having with laying this is that in the bottom, it goes from low, raises up, comes high, and then right here it goes back down low again. You can see that that's kind of what I was fighting with. And then also trying to get it all cut right. This one sheet didn't cover the whole bottom of the boat, but it covered most of it. I didn't want to spend another 150 bucks just to cover another maybe foot and a half of floor space. I did just about the whole cockpit going from about right there. You can see this edge right here all the way to about this edge right here. So anywhere from the top down that you look at it, it's gonna have the hydro turf. It's squishy, it's like an EVA mat, it's really comfortable. I know a lot of you guys suggested I put it on the big boat, but I just never did that. So here we are. Cora Joe, why don't you come over here, give me that stick, and load up. Load up. Oh, there you go, good dog. Yeah, this will be good. So one of the big things I like about this hydro turf is it's gonna add a little bit of cushion on the knees when I'm in here. Uh, doing some hunting, you know, that's never a bad thing. I also hope that it kind of helps drain the water towards the back of the boat with the grooves that are in this. And most importantly, it'll help give the dog a little bit more grip on the floor, which will be pretty dang good for us. This was one step of the process. We got a lot more things we're gonna be adding to it. I think it's making it really come together. And I think the next few upgrades that we do are gonna bring this boat to the next level. So I'm really excited about it. And if you guys have any mods that you wanna see done on this, make sure to drop it down in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one.